I have been a PC user and gamer for many years. I've always chosen my components, and in most cases, I have put them together. Like probably most people, I pay more attention to components like motherboard, CPU, GPU. But one thing I was never interested in is the CPU cooler. I have always used a stock cooler if one was included, or I just bought a cheap one. But since I broke one unintentionally, I had to get a new one. Therefore, I decided to delve into the topic and compare three coolers. I have a test bench with an Intel Q87 motherboard and a Haswell processor. One day while changing the processor, I accidentally broke one leg of the Intel stock CPU cooler. We all know how nasty the pinning mechanism Intel uses is. Fortunately, I found a spare cooler in my old parts closet. I don't remember why or how long I've had it, but it was compatible with my motherboard. It is from Deep Cool, but after I installed it, it turned out to be terrible. It was very noisy. And for that reason, I decided to turn my attention to Air CPU coolers. I bought a second-hand Intel stock cooler and a new Arctic Freezer 7X to compare them. How to test a CPU cooler with a stress test on the CPU. Running a CPU-intensive program such as a game or benchmarking tool will put the CPU under load. Software such as Overclock Checking Tool or OCCT for short is excellent option for this to happen. OCCT includes a variety of stress tests and benchmarking tools to evaluate the performance of computer hardware. These tests are designed to push the components to their limits and identify any potential issues with stability or overheating. OCCT is available for Windows operating systems and can be downloaded for free from the official website. It is frequently used by computer enthusiasts, gamers, and overclockers to test the limits of their hardware and achieve the best possible performance. Let's start with the testing. The first cooler is the Deep Cooler one. After looking at the manufacturer's website, I guess it's the model CK11508 with a 92 mm fan. Before the start of the stress test, the CPU temp is at 40 degrees Celsius, but it turned out that the fan speed is constant. It is around 2000 revolutions per minute, regardless what is the load on the CPU. It runs at full speed all the time, and the fan sound is loud and annoying. Let's run a stress test within 30 minutes. Under load, the CPU temp is around 94 degrees Celsius with maximum temp at 97, only three degrees away from the junction max of the CPU. Junction max is the maximum thermal junction temperature that a processor will allow prior to using internal thermal control mechanisms to reduce power and limit temperature. Activation of the processor's thermal control system may cause performance loss, as the processor typically reduces frequency and power to prevent overheating. The maximum junction temperature limit varies per product, and usually is between 100 and 105 degrees. The next participant is an Intel stock CPU cooler for this generation of processors. The exact model is E973780001. Before the start of the stress test, the temp is 37 degrees Celsius at 1200 RPM fan speed. Thank God the fan can operate in different speeds. The cooler has a copper core and it cools much better the CPU than the deep cool heatsink. Under load, the CPU temp is around 80 degrees Celsius at 2,000 revolutions per minute or around 14 degrees cooler than the deep cool, and it works certainly quieter. And the last participant today is Arctic Freezer 7X a fan-favorite affordable CPU cooler. It features two direct touch heat pipes, 44 aluminum cooling fins, and comes with pre-applied thermal paste. The fan is 100 millimeters. Before the start of the stress test, the temp is 21.5 degrees Celsius at 650 RPM. 
the lowest starting temp so far, and the lowest fan speed. Under load, the maximum temp is around 60 degrees at 1350 RPM. Great result against the opponents. But that's not surprising. It was expected that this would be the best CPU cooler. But I didn't know by how much. Now I have more experience and accurate numbers. CPU coolers are essential components for a computer because they dissipate the heat generated by the CPU during operation, preventing it from overheating and damaging other parts of the computer. After my tests, I can see exactly how different the different models are, and that even a budget cooler can do a very good job. For my test bench, I will use the Arctic Freezer Cooler.